now we're going to do a question based on Newton's third law. As you can see in the diagram, a 100 Newton force is going to be applied to a 10 kilogram box. And that box is sitting up against a 5 kilogram box. So the 100 Newton force is going to push both the boxes. The 5 kilogram box is experiencing a frictional force of 20 Newtons, while the 10 kilogram box is experiencing 40 Newtons of friction. And the question is, what is the action reaction force between the two boxes? What is the force that the 10 kilogram box applies to the 5 kilogram box? Or what is the force that the 5 kilogram box applies to the 10 kilogram box? Hopefully, you know Newton's third law it tells us that those are going to be the same, so it doesn't matter which one we find. Now, before we can do any of that, we're going to have to find the acceleration of the whole system. Assuming the boxes are rigid, that they don't collapse at all, we can assume their accelerations are the same. So I'm going to draw a free body diagram for the whole thing. The whole thing has a mass of 15 kilograms. Is there gravity? Of course there is. It's resting on the ground, so there's a normal force, Fn. There's an applied force to the right, which I will call Fa, which is 100 newtons. And the total friction acting to the left is 60 newtons. 20 from the 5 kilogram box and 40 from the 10 kilogram box. So it's a pretty straightforward question. The box is obviously accelerating to the right. I will call up y to the right x. In the x direction, we get fa minus ff equals ma, which means that the acceleration equals 100 newtons minus 60 newtons divided by 15 kilograms, which equals uh, 3, 2 and 2 thirds, 2.67 meters per second squared. In the y direction, we can see that Fn minus Fg will equal zero. Because we've given you the friction, we don't even need to use that equation, but uh, you should probably still write it down. <clears throat> so the acceleration of the boxes is 2.67 meters per second squared. In order to find the force that one box applies to the other, obviously I have to draw a free body diagram of just one of the boxes. It doesn't really matter which one. I'll go ahead and do both. But I'm going to start with the 5 because it'll be simpler, I think. If I draw a free body diagram of the 5 kilogram box, is there gravity? Yes, of course there is. It's resting on a surface, so there is a normal force. What other forces are acting on the 5 kilogram box? The 10 kilogram box is pushing it to the right. This is not the applied force. That's being applied to the 10 kilogram object. The force that the 10 kilogram object applies to the 5 is different. I'll call it uh, F12, the force that the first box applies to the second. The only force, other force that's acting on the 5 kilogram box is friction, and it is 20 newtons, as given in the diagram at the beginning. So now, X is to the right because this thing is accelerating to the right. So. I find, according to Newton's second law, that the force of the first box on the second minus the force of friction is equal to ma. We know a, we know m, we can find the action-reaction force. The force the first box exerts on the second box will be 5 kilograms times 2.67 meters per second squared plus 20 newtons which is 13.3, sorry, which is 33.3 newtons. So the action reaction force is 33.3 newtons. I should be able to show, if I did a free body diagram of the 10 kilogram box, I should be able to show that its force is exactly the same. Okay, we've got more space now. Draw a free body diagram of the 10 kilogram object a little more involved than the 5. Is there gravity? Yes, of course there's gravity. Fg is resting on a surface, so there's a normal force, Fn. There's an applied force of 100 newtons to the right. That's no problem. There's friction, which on this box is 40 newtons. But if you think about it, the 10 kilogram object being pushed to the right also feels the 5 kilogram object push back on it. It has to. Newton's third law. 
If the 10 pushes on the 5, the 5 pushes on the 10, and we'll call that F21. The force, the second box, applies to the first box. Again, the acceleration is to the right, so I'll call X to the right, Y up. A is that way. Looking in the X direction, I find that FA minus FF minus F21 equals MA. I know A, I know everything. F21 equals FA minus FF minus MA which is 100 newtons minus 40 newtons minus 10 times 2 and 2 thirds, 26.7 newtons, which works out to be 33.3 newtons. It's the same, not a coincidence. Newton's third law tells us that F12 has to be equal to negative F21. They are certainly equal in magnitude, and clearly you can see from the free body diagrams that they are opposite in direction.